What's up, y'all? What's going on? It is Wednesday. I did not plan on making a video this morning. Um, I still don't have nothing to talk about. That's why. But I was just like, you know, I'm just going to turn the camera on. And, you know, <clears throat> we we seeing... um. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know that you stopped by. Um, I know we have a lot of new folks in the in the area um, from the issues going on within basketball wives, and we've been talking about it, talking about it because it really is not just about the show, but you know, what's being demonstrated on a television show in 2019 amongst women of color. And we're actually seeing what's happening and we're seeing that like it's just broadening the conversation and actually be bringing a highlight to the conversation, not only within black community, community, but the Latin community, Afro Latin community, white Latin community, and how people ha are now like, thinking like you know yeah we do the, like understanding that that is that that thing is going on or how that's working and a lot of people have a lot to say about it so it clearly is an issue because so many people the response has been crazy as it relates to what's going on on Basketball Wives. So I know that a lot of people are almost are almost started to get into a conversation because I was like, I, I, I don't want to talk too much more about it. Um, but if, if we need to discuss colorism and within our communities and how when black women are treated, um, dark skinned black women are treated um, and how, and, and then we can even go deeper and talk about how dark skin black women with a certain hair texture are treated. I mean, and like that is Kristen. Um, I don't know if Jennifer wears a weave or not, but I know she wears contact lenses. I uh, know somebody said that she said her one, one season that her grandmother was white. I saw a picture of her mother. It's possible. So I don't know. I don't know that story, but whatever. But I'm just saying that I think that so many people, this is an issue. And for people to keep saying like, that's not the issue. That's not the issue. And it's like, you experience it. I just think it's just important that we are actually getting to see it on a stage and everyone is talking about it. And it's being given to us as a form of entertainment. And the amount of resistance to that is what I am. I am so pleased to see that people are like, no, we're not going to sit up here and let you do this stuff, you know, as a form of entertainment. We already watch y'all fight for the silliest things, argue about the silliest things, but now you guys are going to start practicing some shit that's a detriment to our community? No. And then say it's supposed to be entertainment? No, no. And I'm so proud of everybody who is just like, we're done with this and I think a lot of people are and I think a lot of people really are and I hope that this reunion is one of their lowest ever watched episodes in all of its history um I think a message needs to be sent like okay we take a lot of this shit you know from non-black people we're not about to sit up here and let a, a black woman and a Puerto Rican woman treat a dark skinned black woman in the way that she's being treated and we are going to call it out and hold you accountable and that's it we're not we're not allowing anybody to do that and then that's just what it is so if it if it causes the conversation to continue great come on and get over you non merging bitch like what the fuck merge bitch god damn people so used to people not allowing them to merge they're, they'll damn near run into the goddamn embankment before they move move out into the damn traffic shit is hot in here i need to, i had the heater on i didn't realize it but yeah so that i mean you know
know so welcome everybody I said all of that just to say welcome to all the people and I'm really tired of this camera jingling baby I don't like it I don't know why it's not as as still as um, stable as I want it I, I, I don't know I may have to get another whatchamacallit or because this phone is just not heavy and this is heavier I, I, I presume that's the reason why I shake it but anyway um, so the key witness to um, the key witness to the to for Joshua Brown, who was the key witness, is a black man who you know really helped um, in the testimony because he saw and had video footage of what was going on that evening. And you know, uh, the day after the trial, after the girl was sentenced, what? How many days after the girl was sentenced, he was killed. Um, and it's like, and then the first reports, I don't, like, I still, I still don't know if the reports of him being shot in the mouth, um, is true, um, but he's dead, and now all of a sudden, the cops, the Dallas PD have found 12 pounds of marijuana in his house, and THC and vape, like uh, oil, THC oil or vape pens or whatever, and cash. Y'all found all of this stuff. Now you mean to tell me he was a witness, right? That put a white female cop away. That was the potential to put a white female cop away before we even got a verdict. And y'all tell me y'all didn't know that that man was an F, a drug dealer? You mean to tell me you didn't figure out a way to discredit this black male witness against this white woman before all of this? Come on now. Y'all are crazy as hell. Like, like, is this so... Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that. And that's the, the thing that's like a lot of people... That's the problem we have with so many people. That's the problem I have with people. The the level of of the insults that you know you should believe like we know how y'all operate. We know how y'all operate. We have history to support our opinions about law enforcement agencies in this country. And you want to say that this black man that Y'all could have, y'all would do anything in death. You guys are trying to, as on trend as you are, as on trend, you guys are so predictable. That's the crazy part. So predictable. This man was a witness in a murder of a black man and put a white woman away. He winds up dead and y'all turn around and find 12 pounds of marijuana in his house and he's a drug dealer and all this stuff. So trying to criminalize a dead person who was killed and now all of a sudden you got these two random looking people saying that they were oh y'all already caught the people already y'all figured out how to how to solve this black on black crime come on now like it's just like the the it's the audacity and then and then it's like you're insulting people's intelligence but it's like what the hell you gonna tell me you didn't? You guys couldn't figure out a way to discredit this, to discredit, to help your case until after the man was shot. And y'all don't want nobody to believe it was y'all sending a message, like the judge hugging, sending a message to she wants to be reelected. That black woman came up off her bench and hugged that white woman. Are y'all crazy? Something where you're supposed to remain neutral in a court of law, and then you handed her a Bible. But come on. Like the whole situation is is clear, and it just is clear. Somebody was like, y'all. Somebody was like, I agree about the FBI. The PD is tainted, but I can't see cops planting pounds of weed with a little court-sized bag baggie of heroin would have been done. The trick. No, I can't even read this. But I can't see the cops planting pounds of weed when a little quart-sized baggie of heroin would have done the trick far better because so many people are dying now. Honey, so, lady, first of all, 
for anyone to say they can't believe that a cop would do something, girl, like, I could only respond with, and you do not believe that they don't find kidnapped children and sell them into sex, sex trafficking. Because they do. They do. I don't trust, no, I mean, what, what do you, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So what did I want to talk about? I was, okay. So I was listening to Elise's uh, um, video from last night. Um, she said that um, she was talking about something that I had talked about and I heard her saying like, she wants to change her channel and wants to ch take her channel in a different direction and how now the video, the things that she was watching no longer resonate with her and she doesn't want to talk about them anymore and you know I go through my spells too where I just don't want to talk about stuff that is not that we are consuming as entertainment and I know that's you know a way to escape but a lot of the times we need to just really have conversations about what the fuck is going on right outside of what's happening in the world but like our spiritual journeys and our spiritual paths so I was listening to her and she's just saying like, you know, she just doesn't watch these shows anymore. And that's what I was saying yesterday, like the love and hip hop, like I'm watching it and I'm just like, this is not what, like as a form of entertainment, is this what you are consuming as a form of entertainment? And it's like, I love to review, you know, different things and talk about different things and talk about how we relate to each other as humans like that's the thing that I like to talk about and that's the reason why I like to watch reality television but when you're asking people to consume for as a form of entertainment a, you know anti-blackness um I just I have a choice in what I would like to watch and I don't choose to watch that. I'm not watching anything like that. And it's like overt. And then, you know, and then targeting the girl. And then trying to flip it and trying to sue the girl after you've antagonized her. You know, like, y'all really want me to, like, watch that? No, that's not. No, we're fine with the arguing and the fighting and the conflict. Okay. And we could talk about you know, how you guys are relating, how you, we could talk about all of that, but we're not going to do the colorism thing as a form of entertainment. We're not going to do it. Just, I mean, just what's really crazy. I, th this just popped into my head. I was watching, is it chasing Dion on Netflix about the little boy with superpowers? His mom realizes that he has superpowers and, <laughs> and it comes on Netflix and the little boy is a lighter complexion. The mother is a lighter complexion. And then I see Michael B. Jordan is in it and has a hand in it. And if I'm not mistaken, and you guys please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm about to make a serious allegation. Michael B. Jordan has issues with women of certain complexions. Should, is that the way to say it? Without um alleging that he's a colorist that he practices colorism is that what it is because i feel like i've i've heard that about michael b jordan and i was really concerned about chasing dion's cast change and the entire cast is lighter like the woman is lighter the boy the the star of the Show, he was a little brown skin, dark skin boy. Like now, all of a sudden, you got this. I guess he's my complexion. I, you know, little boy, and it's like, no, that's not how it's supposed to go. And then I saw Michael B. Jordan. And I was like, and then something clicked. Like, wait, why? Do, why do I feel like Michael B. Jordan has an issue with dark skin women? Where did I? Where do I feel like I've heard that? I feel. Like, I've heard that before. Y'all let me know. We could drop it in the comments. Because I feel like, I mean, I could look it up right now. But I don't feel like, look. because when I start looking up stuff, um, when I start looking up Jordan, see? Um, color. 
Michael B. Jordan, colorist. No black women reacts to a picture of milk. What is this? Michael B. Jordan explains his dating preferences. <laughs> um, why he compared black women to what? Wait a minute. Oh. Wait till I get to this stoplight. <laughs> Y'all, wait till I get to this damn stoplight. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan did what? He compared what? Black women to chocolate milk. Oh my God. So, so, okay. So I did see that. And so it does, it does explain why the cast is lighter. Because he has an issue with, see? And we're not going to act like that shit doesn't exist. Like people lose jobs because of their skin tone. So come on. And people get, you know, these, 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 this is my shit. That's Young and May. Her album is so dope. Um, listen. <laughs> People lose jobs. The adjectives that are used, the microaggressions that are used, that happens. So we can't sit here and act like, okay. And then it's like on a larger scale what that means. And I think it's important that we do have these conversations. I just do. So it's, and it's a real thing. Okay. So what else is going on? Um, Kanye West. Okay, so I don't really like to talk too much about Kanye West because I have a space. I hold a space for Kanye West. Um, I just do. And I just do. I think he, like all of us, says some crazy ass shit. I think he is misinformed on a lot of things and they might have to do with where his actual focus is as a creative person there you know there's not too many there are, anyway so i'm not gonna make an excuse for him um and you know a lot of you know and a lot of people have he's doing this church thing <laughs> and he's doing this this um what is it called a uh, gospel i don't even think it's gospel i think it's like more of a he's just flipping songs and making gospel songs out of them i don't like kirk Fra didn't kirk franklin do some shit like that like I, didn't kirk franklin do like what did kirk franklin do what's the difference don't they always do shit like this so you know a lot of the things uh, the critique that is is kanye west is using religion as to, in a way to get back into black folks spaces in order for us to make a space for Kanye West and he's being accused of using um, Jesus as a way to do this and <laughs> here is the thing religion to bind to keep you it is y'all give a percentage of money to a church and do y'all ask what they do with it the money do you, are you able to see it are they doing things in the community because that would be great right churches and money go together churches and black people have been the victim and the perpetrator when it comes to indoctrination of religion and using religion as a way to oppress or profit profit and oppress at the same time I, I don't know, one, Kanye West has always been about incorporating some level of kind of spirituality in his songs. I don't know if anyone listens to the lyrics of his songs, but then some things are blatant 
that are just outward expressions and and you know the life of Pablo was very you know he always had like like a choir driven type of sound like you know and Jesus walks of course so we know so the critique of Kanye West saying that he is you know using black using Jesus to get to get to black people I mean it, it do, doesn't, I mean, I, I don't understand what is the impact. So explain to me what the impact of what he's doing is having on the black community. Because let's extract, let's remove Chris and Kim and that whole family. Let's remove that. If Kanye West was doing this on his own without having his in-laws behind him or... Um, um, how do you say it As associated with it would the critique be as harsh I think there is a problem with the fact that he's doing this black gospel shit and there's a bunch of white people involved and I know that I've said it before when I see it's it's a it's an odd thing to watch um like white people get the Holy Ghost or you know it's not it's like there's I don't know what it is and the the praise and worship part when I'm like watching different things on television and you could see like a little a white church and they're doing their praise and worship section and it's really like really bad like just just to be honest it's really bad there's no soul it looks performative I, and and I believe that a, the, that on both sides black churches white churches are using religion as, as a means to make money and to uh, keep people in a in a way and I don't the musical part there's no church there's no sermons but now I hear that he's going to different churches and, and he's being the you know the guest you know choir you know the guest choir is that what they call it yeah, the guest choir. So he's coming to churches and being the guest choir. But when he's doing it, when they're doing it in their in Calabasas, there's no church going on. It's almost just like a musical <laughs> of church songs or, or, or contemporary songs made to be about Jesus and God and religion or whatever. And I, I just don't understand the critique. I don't understand like why do people feel like Kanye is doing that and trying to get back into there's a clear like like Kanye it's funny because to me Kanye has they it's like he's canceled but not really because I don't I don't think anybody wants to remove someone of his creative being out and give him to another community just because he's married you know what I mean like I don't th I think people are still hold on to Kanye and that's what makes people respond to him in, in such a way but at the same time say he's irrelevant or he means nothing or don't listen to him but you're listening to him and every time he says something you have everybody has something to say about it so there's still like this air of he has a, a some responsibility and if you're giving him that responsibility you're saying that he has an influence but at the same time you're saying he does not have it he's not influential don't listen to him but like I said you're very loud when when it's time when he starts speaking you're very loud um, because he's saying things that are wholly misinformed does not know what he's talking about and but do you believe that that do you believe that people are actually being so influenced by Kanye West that they'll abandon logic and just be like, oh yes, Abraham Lincoln freed the slave. You know, whatever the fuck shit he's saying this week. Do y'all really believe that somebody is like, yes, Kanye West, I follow everything you say. Like, you do you really think that people are not that smart that they can that they can see if somebody is actually using religion to get back into their folds like it happens every Sunday everybody falls 
into this hypnosis of okay let me just give my money because who said to get who are you giving your so what is the difference is somebody buying a t-shirt to support cotton or sweatshirt that you think is ugly for whatever reason you giving your money and you don't even know where it's going so can i get a can i get a sweatshirt and sing hallelujah to a fucking earth wind and fire song for a couple hours and make myself feel good like what's the problem what is the problem? Is it because Kanye's doing it and y'all don't like his... Like, what is the problem? What is the truth? Because we know who Kanye is. We know who he is. We know he doesn't read. We know he doesn't vote. We know he doesn't... He is a, a big mouth creative. He's a big mouth creative. And who is told by his own community that he's not influential. But every time he speaks, we all have something to say. So we, you are giving him a level of responsibility, but at the same time, not really giving it to him. Because if he's so outside of what you're, you know, and, and then the, I, I just don't understand, like, why accuse him of doing something that you're fully in, hip, hypnotized in it already. So why, of, why all of a sudden are you offended by it now? You got these mega churches, churches that won't will not even let people have funerals if they're not up to up on their tides or let's call it what it is, their dues and membership. Let's call it what it is. Tides. Honey, please. And you and you and you want to you want to say that this man is using religion as what? What are you talking about? You what are you talking about? It's used in every single thing, in every single aspect. It's used to keep you folks in line. And now all of a sudden you are awakened to say, oh my God, he's using me. What? Your pastor is using, your bishop is using, your reverend is using you. You over here struggling and, and trying to figure out what, what to do from the next to the next day. And they over there going on vacations and shit and you sitting here looking crazy looking crazy your your damn church is not doing nothing in the community haven't done nothing don't even have a don't even put a, a polling booth in the damn church and all of a sudden you're awakened by what kanye west is doing if you don't get that shit out of here child please <laughs> child please like for real kanye west ain't doing nothing is it what is he doing that's wrong what negative impact is he having like, leave, I, I really, like, for real, leave that nigga alone. Like, leave him alone. Like, at, at now, unless, unless he starts doing something that has a negative impact on our community, leave the nigga alone. You know the nigga doesn't read. He doesn't vote. None of that stuff. And all of a sudden, he's so, he's using you. You done woke up all of a sudden. Because Kanye West is using religion to get into your and into, into your good graces again. <laughs> you that confused that you are cunning and now all of a sudden you can see. Girl, that don't even make sense to me. Leave that man alone. He says, I mean, whatever. Is he using religion? Lady, what are you doing in your Tesla? You will get your shit swiped. Stay in your lane. Um, you can every it, religion has been you is being used all of the time all of the time used to profit used to oppress <laughs> used to you know profit and oppress religion to profit or to oppress i'm making a shirt god damn it like really like what do you expect your church is profit why the hell can he remix a song and, and make a gospel song into some song y'all do it in the church y'all let Leroy and Tyrone do it how come Kanye can't do it like come on and the people obviously I don't understand I just don't get it so I, okay you're not gonna let me over you piece of shit so Michael B. Jordan opens up about dating women and why he compared women to, cho women to chocolate black women to chocolate milk thank you thank you for letting me over it's a lot of traffic. I'm still early. Rumors have long swirled about a swirled 
about him not being attracted to black women. So, so okay, so that okay, so that makes sense. It makes sense. But and I'm surprised, honey, honey. I guess they couldn't change it to a white woman. I mean, they really could have, but they probably didn't want the backlash because I'm sure. I mean, you could you could say he was a white woman and have a little biracial kid because that could have happened. That could have really happened. Anyways, so what was I talking about, y'all? I really got off on, oh, Kanye West and religion. Okay, so that's it. So that's all I have to say because I'm like, we, religion is used to profit and oppress and that's it. And people blindly follow it. I don't, I don't understand why all of a sudden everybody is so woke when Kanye West remixes an Earth, Wind, and Fire song and make it about Jesus. So... And a lot of the critique comes from the aversion to his wife, cause that's it. And it's and it's a it's a wild thing because it wasn't as loud. I guess because she's not as popular, but it wasn't as loud when he was with Amber. <laughs> guess y'all gonna let me let me be quiet. Uh, 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 let me shut up. Anyways, so yes, so I think that's where a lot of the critique comes from. There's an aver like I I can't stand your wife, like I can't stand your wife. So anything the the hatred that I have for her is going to be directed to you, and I think a lot of that's where that comes from. Um, you know, he say you know Kanye says a lot of stupid things, you know, um, but again. If you're saying he's in, not influential and if you're saying he's not all of these things, but you get so angry and talk, start talking about the platform that he has when he says these things, then you're saying that he is influential. And I think that, you know, those who are able to tell what, what or believe or have a perception of what he's what he's doing, you're... You, I guess you can say, you can talk to people and tell them what you see when you see Kanye West out there, you know, um, you know, and then you guys say, it looks like a cult. What do y'all think y'all look like? If, if put a camera in your church, <laughs> put a camera in your church and see how many people don't be like this just automatically when the bowl come around, boo. Though here and here here it comes for the eighth time. Here it comes and you put it and you put money again in it. Y'all look hypnotized. Y'all look like a cult too. Like that's what I'm saying. Like all of a sudden you so woke because it's Kanye. Girl, that shit is funny to me because the shit doesn't even make sense. But it's funny because it doesn't make sense to me. I wish y'all would get y'all lives together on this in this freeway area. Y'all doing the most. It's like everybody's. I'm, that's why I'm really trying to pay attention. But anyway, so y'all, what do y'all think about the Kanye thing? Do y'all think he's using religion to get back? He's trying to use religion to get back into black people's hearts. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, okay. So what do y'all think about that? What else is going on? Michael, Michael P. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan. He likes white women. That's shocker. Shocker. And somebody in the comments was like, y'all not holding the men accountable. The men are the really the ones who pump these women up. Well, I mean, I think that I think that's a given. That's the that's the whole reason why oh uh Evelyn called OG ugly. And that's the only reason why OG said your nigga wanted me. That's how the whole shit started. OG doesn't think, I mean, the girl doesn't think OG is attractive enough for this black ass nigga from fucking Miami to <laughs> fucking like this dark skin ass woman because men help and uphold those standards of beauty. They look at women like, I'm telling you, I'm, I've met so many guys to tell me I'm attracted to light skin and good hair. Like, and especially in Cal men, black men in California. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me tell you, child. Let, phew, child, they always want to know what you mix with. And they tell you that to your face, I'm attracted to light skin with pretty hair or good good hair. So the men uphold the shit. So it does give women a, a powerful thing because what, what at the end of the day, Evelyn is a woman who believes her value is in her, her pussy, her credit, what? And her family, right? So that's what's important to her and 
your ability to get a man because she's telling her oh and you gotta what does she tell um cc you got an old ass nigga like and that's another thing evelyn says nigga more than the black women on the show have y'all ever noticed that have you guys ever noticed that evelyn says it more than the black women on the show think about it because she's always getting bleeped for saying nigga anyway she tells cc your old ass nigga she tells she tells og and you couldn't keep he's still not married to you or you still not getting married you got all that y'all y'all didn't catch that i they the 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 clip that they showed um when og says it's genetics and evelyn says and he's and he's still not asking you to marry him so she puts value in that and so when when someone said when a when a woman believes that and a man upholds that she's empowered to put that on other people that's the reason why she said og was ugly in her mind her man uh, that man would not be attracted to her because she knows she's seen what he goes i mean i don't know if she's seen his the the women that he's decided to have to partner and have children with because I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> um, that's what it is. And so, yes, the men do uphold the shit, and but they don't do the choosing. And so, when women believe that men do the choosing, they fight like that. Like your 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 nigga would want to fuck me all night. Like that shit that Evelyn was saying to OG. Like, are you cr like lady? What? <laughs> but like that shit is crazy. That shit was crazy. Anyways, y'all, I think I'm done talking because, you know, I really, I, I really wanted to talk about, um, it's a lot of traffic, but I'm still like kind of on time. Um, I really wanted to talk about just, you know, spirituality and stuff like that. So we'll talk about it. Maybe on the way, on the way back, we'll talk about it. it depends on how I feel, but, um, oh, I was trying to, I need to go up to that other building okay anyways so i'm about to go y'all you guys have a wonderful day take care of each other um protect your energy and keep each other honest peace